So I didn't really see myself getting back into 3D printing for some time, but then I finally decided to get back into it because this printer was so cheap that I couldn't pass up on the deal. So when I found this printer on banggood.com, it was only $190. And I think it's originally like 230 or something, something like that. So it was like 40 bucks off. I was like, I'm definitely going to get this because that's an awesome deal. So that's what I did. And I really wanted to get back into 3D printing because of its ease to make prototype parts. So I got rid of my other 3D printer before I made the plasma machine and it had a relatively small build table. So I decided to get one that with a little bit bigger build table so I could make bigger prototype parts. So in between getting this printer and that other printer, I was making all those prototype parts on the machine, which is very time consuming and the material costs more money. So this is going to work out perfect. And this, that printer is near dead on. This thing is supposed to be 60 thousandths thick. It's easily within plus or minus five thickness all the way around. And you saw how it printed straight up. That's pretty impressive. At least I thought, just because of how cheap the printer is. So aside from that, I make these ST cubby covers, and you've seen it, it's, it covers that cubby hole on the Fiesta ST cars. So the ones I make in aluminum, they are, they, they're flat, and then I put a bend in it like this. So I had to model this bend in here like that. It's just super slight bend, and it works out good. I actually hit it dead on, or almost dead on the first time, and it fits in the car just like the aluminum ones do. Uh, but. I wanted to get that bin just right. So my, the purpose of doing this is, I want to sell these things on Shapeways. I don't know if you guys heard of Shapeways, but it is pretty sweet. It's a 3D printing market, basically. Basically, if you have a 3D model, you can post it on there and you can sell it to other people. And Shapeways manufactures or 3D prints the part and then they ship it to whoever buys it. So you basically just upload the part and they do all the work behind it, as far as I'm aware. And still, they're relatively cheap. They're, these are comparable. The cost of these would be comparable to an aluminum one. But then the customer can get it, sand it down, put primer on it, paint it whatever color they want, and then they're done. Rather than just having my aluminum one. Basically, I want to be hands off with most of it. Uh, people can still order aluminum ones, but this is so people can get plastic ones if they so choose. So that's why I did this part first and modeled it with the bend. It looks fairly good and I'm impressed with how it turned out and how precise that printer is. But yeah, that printer just helped check to make sure the bend was okay before I start selling it on Shapeways. Now I know Shapeways takes a percentage, but I don't know how much it is. I don't really care because I'm hands off of everything for the most part. But anyway, if you guys run a shop similar to mine and you make parts all the time, prototype parts, or you make any other types of parts like that, 
That Creality Ender 3 is what I got and it is sweet so far. I, I really enjoy using it and I'm really looking forward to trying out different filament materials, different plastic materials to make parts. Specifically nylon carbon fiber, that is going to be sweet. I, I, I know it's more expensive but I, I'm excited to try it at some point in my life. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's enough rambling for me. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.